actually it's the mental side of getting over an injury that's more important than the physical. The physical is you do your process and you know, mm -hmm. that can be assessed and you can see that uh, progress on a, on a chart almost, or you can see that. Whereas the mental side, actually what, what techniques did you come up with in order to get through that 22 months? Yeah, I think at, th at that time when it was, before I went in for the operation, I even sat down with the surgeon and he was like, you do know you might never play again. And I was like, wow, okay, no, <laughs> the operation's tomorrow and no one's actually ever told me that. So I think at the time I was only 20, I don't even know, 23, maybe something like that, 24. Um, so that's when I should have been at the peak in my career. So I think at the time, you know, I got in contact with the PFA, they were great. Um, they put me in touch with counsellors um, to talk to, to talk through the process um, to help me gain like some strategies, you know, just kind of what I, I found really helpful was just doing really small kind of day-to-day -day goals. And it was, it sounds really kind of, you know, per se, everyone talks about these goals, but they're so important um, when you're trying to get through a, an injury, be it how big or how small. So for me, if I'd have gone, right, I'm injured and I'm not coming back for two years, my end, my goal is to be back playing. Well, what are you going to do in the two years in between? So, yeah, you know, so at the time it was more about how can I, like, you know, what am I going to do day to day? Literally take each day as it comes. And I think that's the most important thing because you can't kind of get wrapped up in the long term. Um, so each week for me it was, well, on, on Friday I see my counsellor. And that was something to kind of look forward to, not look forward to, but just to be able to talk about stuff was really important. Um, and that's going on from the age of 24 and since then going up to now. So that's the last seven years I've kept in contact with the PFA and with their counselors. I don't go every week anymore, but at the time that was really something that helped. Um, and just to help me kind of set like small goals, like mindset things. And even now I've started to do meditation, which I never thought I would ever do. Um, but it kind of just, you know, when it really does start to take its toll, just taking a step back and being able to see things from a bigger perspective is really important because you can get so bogged down with you, your injury, what's going on with you, rather than actually seeing, you know, seeing a bigger picture and a bigger perspective. I think